Hey, welcome to the City of Cape Wastewater Treatment Facility. My name is Todd Fulton. I'm the plant manager and I'm going to be giving you your tour today. We're going to talk about how water, when you flush it at home, comes through the collection system and it is brought to our facility. It spends about two days here and we convert that material into a fertilizer and we also discharge the water to the Mississippi River, demonstrated by our aquarium here that receives effluent and supports aquatic life. All right, so this, this is the City of Cape's influent pumping station for the wastewater treatment facility. We have six pumps submerged. It's a 65 foot deep wet well, and the water's coming in at right at five million gallons a day. There's one pump running almost all of the time to pump the water throughout the rest of the treatment process. Um, the other five pumps, of course, you can, you can do the math, that's capable of pumping around 60 million gallons of water a day. The other pumps are in there for wet weather events, and they're also there for redundancy, that if one pump goes down, we have backup capabilities. So this is our Headworks treatment facility. We are removing material from the waste stream that we are not able to biologically treat with the organisms that we use for treatment. We're using two um, machines in here. One is an automatic screen that is constantly removing fine particles from the waste stream, and the other is grit removal that it allows the water to come in, slow down, and the solids to settle to the bottom, and we're removing just that material. So this is our hauled waste receiving station, and this would be used if you have a septic tank, you live in the county, uh, and it's, it's pumped, it's, it's hauled here for ultimate disposal. Also, if you are a restaurant and you have a grease interceptor, uh, this material will be brought in and discharged into this hose here, and we take it and treat it um, for ultimate discharge to the Mississippi River. So the city of Cape Girardeau uses an activated sludge treatment process that requires a lot of dissolved oxygen and mixing power. These are the air pumps. They're turbo blowers that are providing the compressed air to the basins to achieve the mixing and the dissolved oxygen that the organisms need to thrive. The water has gone through the influent pump station. The material that we're, we can't treat has been removed in the Headworks building, and now we are at our sequential batch reactor. Uh, we have 10 million gallons of capacity in these four tanks. Water comes up through the center and splits to all four tanks. Our average daily flow is roughly right around 5 million gallons per day. So with 10 million gallons of capacity, that means the water spends roughly two days in these tanks undergoing treatment before it's discharged extremely clean to the Mississippi River. The sludge that's in the bottom of these tanks, when they, when they settle, uh, it spends about 80 days of treatment in the tank undergoing activated sludge treatment. It's a four tank process and the, the water spends two hours under aeration and then it spends two hours of settle time. During the last hour of settle time, the decanters drive down into the water and they lower the water level in that tank and that water is sent for roughly 20 minutes every hour to the receiving stream which is the Mississippi River. From April 1st to October 31st, the water is disinfected with ultraviolet light. As the sequential batch reactors, the activated sludge process completes its treatment of the solids that enter the tank. The excess solids are pumped into these tanks here. This is our waste activated sludge storage tanks. And here the water is held. You can see it's a lot thicker than what we had in the basins. And from here we pump it into our centrifuge. It's condensed further and then fed to the dryer to create our fertilizer. So we just saw the waste activated sludge tanks and now we're, we're down in the biosolids building and this machine that's behind me is a centrifuge. We feed the water into that and when I say the water, I'm talking about that waste activated sludge that we saw just a minute ago. And we're feeding that to this machine at about 100 gallons a minute and we are creating a paste that is referred to as cake in this industry. And it is around 24% solids. That material is fed into our biosolids dryer to create the fertilizer. So the material is caked up in the centrifuge. And from there, we pump it into the biosolids dryer. Uh, 
Uh, the material is spread onto a belt inside the dryer and it's about three inches thick on the belt. It slowly moves from one end of the dryer to the other. The temperature is taken at the end of the dryer and the percent solids are tested. The solids are 92% solids to meet Class A exceptional quality material as defined by uh, EPA that is then licensed as a registered fertilizer in the state of Missouri. All right, so when you flush the toilet at your house and that material travels through the collection system and makes it to this treatment facility, we take that and with the aid of microorganisms, convert that into a fertilizer product that looks like this. The cleaned up water is sent to the Mississippi River and this can be used in your garden, on your front yard, farmer's field, totally safe product. It's 100% recycling. As the water is being decanted from the activated sludge tanks and it's spent about two days under treatment, it undergoes one last step and that's ultraviolet disinfection. The water is ran through a series of lights, exposed to UV wavelength and any organisms that are left in the water that would be surviving, their cell wall is damaged so they cannot reproduce. So they live out the rest of their life and then they're the end of their species. Um, from there, the water is sent to the receiving stream in the Mississippi River, and that's, that's the end of the line. Under our National Pollution Discharge Elimination System permit, this water is deemed safe to go to the Mississippi River. So if you've ever wondered where the water goes when you flush, now you know. <laughs>